Yeah, so we're currently at the Union Center for the Arts, which is formerly Union Church. Tonight is Tuesday Night Cafe, which is a free Asian American art series that happens twice a month in Little Tokyo. Tuesday Night Cafe was originally created as a way to build an Asian American art scene, and it was also created as a way to revitalize Little Tokyo by bringing young people in um, and, and igniting arts within the neighborhood. This area actually was formerly a space where during World War II, under Executive Order 9066, Japanese Americans were taken away to um, eventually the camps. Little Tokyo is 134 years old, and it is the second oldest neighborhood in Los Angeles. It is one of three remaining historic Japan towns left in the entire nation. So it actually formed because at the time, it was one of the only places in Los Angeles where Japanese and Japanese Americans could live and own property. So our temples were built here, and then shops and restaurants started opening up around it. And so out of this racist environment, uh, Little Tokyo sort of blossomed as the, the, the cultural home to the Japanese American. Basically, I grew up here. We used to play on the sidewalk when we were kids, really small. And we used to play other shop owners' kids. And we'd play hide and go seek. And we would go into many of the stores and hide, right? So we played here. It was a natural playground. Those days when Brian was little and I was little, uh, a friend reminded us many years later, because you know what we called you when we were little, or my parents called you guys? Fugetsu no, fugetsu no, no boy. And I was Bunkado no Garu. <laughs> and you know, she said, that's, we didn't know your names. That's how everybody called you. So we were all very much associated with the businesses. This is Cory Kito, my son. Yeah. And everybody knows him. Because yeah. he's Fugetsu no Musko. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so I enjoyed that class, yeah. Taking the time to show me how to move the brush and stuff like that, yeah. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I, I, I tried to remember that stuff about just just being calm and being in the present, right? And uh, I don't know if it worked out all that. Well, it worked out pretty good, except for the knee part. I, I messed up on the knee part. Yeah, I just... I was um, 16, 16 years old, and 
lived in the country, so I wasn't aware of what was going on. So Little Tokyo was actually pretty decimated by World War II. So in 1942, after Japan bombed Pearl Harbor, um, Executive Order 9066 was signed, which allowed for the forced incarceration of all people of Japanese descent, so both Japanese and Japanese Americans. Um, over 120,000 um, in the U.S. Um, were forced into camps. They had two weeks to close up everything and get ready to evacuate. Uh, when they left here, when they got their stuff ready, they, had, they were able to carry only what they could carry, so most likely two bags. I remember going, uh, well, I was shocked first that we have to undress and bathe with everybody. So we would go at night. I remember going late at night. That, that I remember. And then the toilet. There was no, no partition. No no partition. partition. That's, what I, that's what I remember about the, the bad part. あの、キャンプ入ってからは友、新しい友達がたくさんできたのが良かったと思う。子供だから。で、キャンプ入る時には5年生だったから。こっちの学校の。あの、大人はあの、いろいろ困ったこともあったでしょうけど、子供だったら
Çıktı size. Thank you.